advice I received, I think, is as I got older, I had to start to realize how I needed to play. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone looks at how certain players play, but they don't understand themselves. And sometimes they get out of what they do well, and they start to work on things that aren't so important. So it took a little bit of time for me to understand. But once I understand my game, that's when I started playing better. Do you like yeah, I, I try to watch. I try to be a student of the game and see what's successful and see why it works. Um, I think the game is changing all the time. I think it's become a different game in the last five years. But within each style of play, there's their own personality and their own feel. So I, I like to see what different players do and why they're successful and, and hopefully educate myself as I'm doing it too. I, th I just think I think it's become much more physical tennis mm -hmm. because it's baseline tennis that takes longer to construct and win points which takes more discipline and as a junior you don't have a lot of discipline. I think 15 years ago you could have one big weapon and still be a pro player. Now you need more than one big weapon. And I think that the players, in order to develop those weapons, are taking a little bit more time physically, but I think also more mentally to understand progressions of points and understanding how to set up the right patterns to finish points. And then it's taking a little bit more time. And especially, you know, with the great players right now, you know, the top four or five in the world, look at how difficult it is to finish a point against the V Ferrer or Novak or Andy or Rafa or, or Roger. It takes a lot of work to finish one point. So to have the discipline, not only the talent, but the discipline to do that takes a long time. Well, for me, I think the best advice really is patience. Now we're seeing, I think there's only one player ranked in the top 200 that's a teenager. Um, it's taking a little longer. And as you go through the junior tennis ranks, you go in two-year increments and, and you stay closer to success more frequently. So once you go from juniors to the pros, it takes a little bit more time. So you have to be very patient and you have to be clear on the style of play that best suits you and the fact that it's going to take a little bit of time to get through the different... I'm not sure. I think you know the, the, the strength of the athleticism and the power of shot is pretty incredible these days. I, and that's one of the reasons why people can't come to the net is because there's physically not enough time mm -hmm. because when people are out of position, they can still hit the ball so hard because the athleticism and the great technology that Prince has, has out on the court and the other companies are putting out and the strings and the balls, I, I don't know how fast the game can get before it becomes the, the maximum. But I think in the next two years, as we see some new young players break through and we see some fresh faces, hopefully we'll see some new dynamic changes as well. Thank you, Thanks, thanks a lot.